Hey guys, what's up? It's Samantha, and today I'm going to be filming my updated 2021 sticker storage video. If you guys haven't checked out my recent character sticker storage method video that I did, I went very in depth into that massive project and how I organize my character stickers in that video. I will try to remember to put a card for it up here or have it linked in the description down below. Um, and if not, like someone remind me to do that. I'm terrible at remembering to link videos I mentioned, but I wanted to show you guys my current organization for all of my other stickers because I have had questions asking me about that. Um, so I'm not gonna go really in depth into my character sticker storage. I'll just show you what I'm using if you don't wanna see that whole video, but I'm gonna go ahead and get started with how I store my kits. So my two main kit storage things are these two Happy Scrappy albums that I use for the kits that I've kind of assigned for different weeks in my main planner, which is the planner that I plan for myself off camera and then my memory keeping planner, which is the planner that I film for YouTube and do voiceovers with. Um, so basically inside both of these, I have all of the weeks, these stickers are from Scribble Prints Co labeled. And then whenever I get a kit, 90% of the time, I immediately assign it to a week. Sometimes things shuffle around a little bit. So you'll see I have stuff like out here, you know, farther in the summer is probably going to get moved around some. And I do the same thing for memory keeping. And those are where most of my kits end up. And then I do have, this one's kind of chunky. This is extra kits and sticker scraps from kits that I really, really loved or that I think I might use the scraps for. So I have like scraps of some of my favorite kits back here like you know just ones that make me happy there's not too many there's maybe like 10 or 12 and then I have like I'll save scraps if I bought like an ultimate kit and a mini kit from SBC that I'm planning on reusing at a later time so I have like kits that I don't have weeks assigned like more generic kits I have a bunch of uh, like Disney kits because originally Joe and I had planned in 2020 to go on um, a pretty lengthy vacation to Florida and be at Disney for like 10 days or something. And then obviously that didn't happen because of, you know, the world. But these are like birthday kits. I have a bunch of birthday kits up here, which I tend to like never end up using birthday kits because my birthday is usually like the week before Halloween. So I want to use a spooky kit. Um, but yeah, so I have like birthday and then I just have like a few random kits in there. So then next I have my functional foil and these are the kind of four main foil colors. If you can see, I have labels, foiled labels from SPC and each, like the color of the foil on each script matches the foil color that's in here. Um, I now have hollow and silver in two separate binders and this binder was from the magical release that Andrea did so I just put my hollow in there because she had sent me one as a Christmas gift. So I will just flip through one of these because they are all pretty much the same in all of them. So I have a rose color days pocket in the front of all of these where I put deco bits like the little deco squares. And then I have my Clever Gal Crafts hearts and bows. If I have them in the same colorway, I have the hearts on the front and the bows on the back and they are alphabetized by colorway because that was basically the best way I could think of to come up with for, for that. And then I have foiled flags from both uh, Clever Gal Crafts and some from Station Stickers. And then I have like little functional things like habit trackers. And then I have my uh, like icons, like my non-circle icons, the small ones, the big ones from SPC, all of my SPC round icons, date dots, and then headers from Rose Color Days, and then weekend banners and these like monthly scripts for like monthly spreads which I really don't do anymore 
but I have them. I have a couple different ones from like SPC in there. So, you know, and then for gold, I did split them between like rose colored days gold and SPC gold at this point. I pretty much use like I, I now don't buy like regular gold stuff from rose color days i pretty much just buy light gold because it matches the spc gold for the most part better and then i have spc headers and then these are kind of like design or like fancy headers mostly like bow kind of stuff then rose color days or like hot gold normal normal gold foil and then like overlays and then scribble prints co gold overlays and then these are just generic script overlays so not seasonal not holiday just like you know planner like planner friends make the best friends and turn your dreams into plans and that kind of you know generic stuff that anytime kind of scripts and then corners are all together and then these are bougie boxes and foiled day extenders and then I have my bottom washi overlay tapes all together here including like these from an advent calendar and then I have my functional like foiled functional boxes and quarter boxes and stuff in the back and this format is the same in all of these like in the exact same order for all of the foils like the four main foils that are like you know like that so i have used that setup for quite a while and it works really well for me i keep them on the uh ikea cube bookshelf thing behind my desk so I can just turn around and grab the one for whatever foil I need. Next up I want to show you my organization for my wiggles which is kind of out of control. So these are two mini happy scrappy binders. I have one for my neutral wiggles from SPC and one for my colorful ones. This is like really out of control. Um, but I basically just keep these on the corners of my desk. So on either corner, I have them out so I can see them all the time. And they are kind of in a little bit of an order. Like my colorful one is in a rainbow order. And these I have more warm gold foils um, moving into silver hollow kind of stuff, though copper is back here for whatever reason. And then I did stick my various rainbow foils from SPC in the back here just because I have way more space like empty pockets wise in the neutral one compared to the colorful foil one and then for certain foils where I have a lot of it so like copper I've kind of split it up into a couple of different pockets um, and I did the same thing with Sparkly Hollow, which might end up getting its own binder if Andrea keeps, it feels like Sparkly Hollow is moving towards being a core foil when she releases stuff. So if she keeps moving in that direction, eventually Sparkly Hollow might have its own binder as well. We will see, but yeah, so these are all of my neutral wiggles. And then these are all of my rainbow foil, not rainbow foil, colorful foil wiggles. And also, you know, I have a uh, foil from rose color days stuck in here where it's appropriate because I, I do have, you know, you know how I love my pink hollow, but I have a ton of lavender hollow. So I have, I don't know, I think five or six pockets back here of lavender hollow foil, which I use a lot. This is all of my colorful foil. And again, this sits over there in that corner. And then with my other foil binders on the shelf behind me, I have this with all of the kind of matte wiggle formats that SPC has done so that I can grab them as needed. And yeah, they're in this little, I think this was the Once More With Love collab uh, advent calendar thing that they did a couple years ago and it's really small but I don't have a ton of the matte wiggle format stuff so it fits quite nicely in there. Next is something that will look quite familiar to you if you have watched any of these videos at any point in my channel's history. I've had these binders from Target for 
I want to say five years at this point and these are where I store everything that I have left from my SPC multicolor stuff. So this binder is mostly half boxes, quarter boxes, fancy labels, flags, and then a couple of like functional checkbox stuff in the back of it. And then this one is like habit trackers and glitter headers and lots of moving marquees, the bill dues, um, all of this kind of stuff, the film edit upload and work labels. And then in the back, just some really old, really old date dots, which I could probably get rid of. And these are one of the few stickers that I hold on to for nostalgia purposes. I loved these little washi squiggles back in the day. They were one of my favorite things to use in my spreads. If you want to scroll back four or five years on my Instagram or watch some really old plan with me's, you will see those quite a lot. And this is another nostalgia sheet. I pretty much got rid of everything else nostalgia wise. I got rid of all of my monthly multicolors two years ago. I gave them away at the SBC planner party. That's the extent of my multicolor functional at this point. I just have those two binders and that's it. So earlier when I was going through my foil binders, I mentioned that I don't keep my seasonal or holiday script overlays in those binders. And this is where I keep all of my holiday foil overlay kind of stuff. So this one is just Christmas and winter. And because I have so much for Christmas and winter, I have it separated by foil color and you know, gold, light gold in the front, um, silver, hollow, and then moving into fun foils, ho pink, hollow, red, green, blue. So I have a lot of different stuff and within each color, I basically have all of the different types. So I have, you know, deco bits and seasonal header overlays and full box overlays and any kind of, you know, Christmas countdowns, any kind of seasonal foil and then I can just pull out the color you know as I need it and use it with a spread so this is all of my winter and Christmas stuff and then these are all of my other seasonal foil overlays and these I basically just have sorted out by holiday I should probably reorder these and put them in an order that makes a little more sense but I I do, the only thing I have a separate thing for is my web headers from Rose Color Days, but I have fall, like all my fall stuff and Halloween overlays and like thankful Thanksgiving kind of stuff, New Year's and like Valentine's Day love stuff. And then also a couple of birthday things in here. So not so much of other stuff like other than my web headers that's the only thing i go crazy for outside of seasonal winter christmas stuff next i have my foiled icons and then some foiled sampler bits and bobs in this accordion but real quick going through here i have this separated out by my four main foil colors and i do also in the front have light gold slash spc gold separated out from my other gold things. So I just put like anything I had in light gold, which is pretty much the SPC stuff and some to-do scripts from Rose Colored Days in the front. But then for the rest of this, the order is the same for gold, silver, hollow, and rose gold. The first section I have is functional stuff. So heart arrows, to-do scripts that I use in my sidebar and checklist kind of stuff then i have any scripts on white paper i found that any hand foiled items on white sticker paper as opposed to clear sticker paper don't do well if you put them down and take them off multiple times the foil can kind of flake off if you bend the paper too much so i wanted to keep it safe um, or play it safe and keep them on the sticker sheets that they came in. So then the next section is basically all of my foiled icons, which for the most part are from Magic Prince Co. And these are all on the white sticker paper. So I didn't wanna, you know, mess around with putting them down and having the foil flake off. 
And then I do sometimes have, you know, random sheets from Simply Gilded, and then I have cleaning stickers from uh, Clever Gal Crafts that I've had for forever. And that pattern basically repeats like functional script icon for all of the foils in here. And whenever I'm planning with one of those foils, I'll just pull out the stack of icons and leave it on the side of my desk while I'm planning. Then I have foiled samplers, which are again split up by color, but I don't have nearly as much hollow stuff. So I just put all of my hollow bits and bobs in the front here. So these are all of the random freebies that get thrown into orders from Scribble Prints Co, um, icon sheets from station stickers, that sort of thing. And then for the rest of them, I have it split by gold, silver, and rose gold. And I kind of vaguely have this organized by type. So there's kind of overlay samplers. So these are like Simply Watercolor Co. icon overlays that you can put over the round icon stickers that come in sticker kits. And then these are kind of the variety samplers, the kind of things that would come in orders or when I was ordering a bunch of the uh, Simply Watercolor Co. Foil to Simply Foil Tuesdays or whatever she does, I had to stop because I was spending way too much money every single week. Um, They're awesome. I didn't stop buying them because they weren't good. I just was buying way more than I was ever ending up using. So you can see I still have quite a bit left of those. So that kind of variety sheet ends up in here. And then these are variety icons. So freebies from Magic Prince Co. or Rose Colored Days, um, Simply Watercolor Co., random icon or, you know, functional stuff and station stickers, icons from her old kit format. And that's, I guess I, like I put these in their own in the front. I forgot about that. Um, but generally that's kind of the format that I follow for each of these. It's not perfect, but I can generally find what I'm looking for and there's really not that much of it. I tend to get rid of things that I think I'm not gonna use, I rack them. Then the only character stickers that I did not move into my binder system, which I might change, but right now I don't reach for these that often and when I do, I'm pulling a whole sheet out at a time to use with a specific themed kit. These are all of my character character stickers so things from movies and shows so i have all of that kind of wizard stuff in the front and then i have a variety sheet sometimes these were halloween samplers that kind of stuff from shops and then i have some random tv shows like avatar and then star wars bits and bobs and these from fox and cactus crack me up and then I have all of my Disney stuff. So a lot of times what will happen is if I'm doing a spread that is themed for a movie, I will pull these sheets out and keep them with the kit as I'm planning and try to pull in more icons from this, you know, to mark various things during that week. Or if I'm doing a Disney spread, I'll use a lot of them. So these are just, mostly Once More With Love and some Coffee Monsters Co. Disney stuff. I do have a lot of these. Um, I bought single sheets of characters that I use a lot and I did put those with my Halloween stickers in that binder. I have quite a few uh, Nightmare Before Christmas stickers because I watch that movie a lot in Halloween and I use those to mark it, but then I have my variety sheets in here still, if that makes sense. So, Lots and lots and lots of Disney stickers and then some random stuff in the back, some Miyazaki, and then just some random assorted magical things like mermaids and unicorns and angels, that sort of stuff. Um, so this is like only halfway full. These are the only stickers that I did not move over into my binders because I literally will just grab the sheet and put it with the kit when I'm using it. So it just seemed more practical for me to keep it this way, but if it ever becomes not practical, I would move them over to the other character sticker storage that I have. The last bit of sticker storage that I have besides my character binders, which I will show you briefly in just a moment, 
is this accordion. I used to use a blue and teal one that was the same style. These are very, very old from the Target dollar spot. They haven't made them in years. I think I've had this for six years at this point, but I don't have this one labeled because my blue one broke that had all of the little flaps in here labeled. And I was using this one to store non-character sticker icons, but I incorporated all of those into my binder system so I wasn't using this for anything. And since the other one cracked on the bottom, I decided to use this one instead. This is basically for my main planner because I plan as I go throughout the week. Um, the kit that I am using for that week, I will keep the kit sheets. And then in this case, I was using a copper wiggle. So any functional wiggle stickers, so icons, scripts, that sort of thing, I will keep with the kit in this accordion that way as i'm planning i can pull pull it out and just plan as i go sometimes i'll pull out if there's sheets that i know don't have any functional stickers on them i'll separate that out this kit was in a weird format because it was a subscription kit so there's only that one sheet um and then y'all have because I'll, I'll plan out the base of the next week ahead of time so I will, you know, then however many weeks I've planned out in advance, I will put the whatever's left over and then the functional bits and bobs from whatever foil I'm using if I'm using a wiggle in here. That way I can just grab it and plan and I don't have to go find, like refine things. So that's how I keep that and then I don't have sticker scraps or piles of half used sticker kits all over my desk everything is in here and then I can also plan you know the base of spreads out a few weeks in advance if I feel like doing that sometimes I do that I'll plan you know three or four weeks out and then I can just put all of the sticker scraps in here for when I'm planning as I go during that week so then last but not least I have my binders with all of my scripts and character stickers in them you're probably looking at this going, there's three binders now. Yes, there's three binders now. This large Kiki K does not have nearly as large, like the rings on this aren't as large as the ones on the Scarlet, which is an A5 wide planner from Aura Estelle. It was a collab with Scribble Prince Co., or at least this pink one was. Um, but I did buy a second one because I really like the wider rings in these for storing a ton of pages but this I've had for years and years and years and it's really lightweight and it's a little less floppy than the others. So I just kept my scripts in here and in the front I have my month scripts and then I just have all of my other foiled scripts. I probably should put tabs or dividers between the colors. If you watch my plan with me's and I'm putting down scripts and I'm using one of the colors that's in here, I will have this on my lap in front of me and then I'll be putting down scripts from there and because this has like a firmer it's like less floppy it works well for that. Then I moved all of my holiday and emotion stickers out of the Kiki K because the Kiki K got real thick and it was like doing that kind of thing. So I do have some variety emoji faces from a variety of sticker shops here in the pockets. I haven't moved those over. I don't really know if I will or not. They seem to just work just fine being there. Those are the only stickers I haven't moved over yet. So then I have these by holiday or season. They are not in order. They're like the order that I've had them stored in for years. So at this point I'm used to it and it makes sense to me. But then when I show it to someone, I'm like, these are not in seasonal order at all. And it makes no sense that this is why I've all like how I've always done it so just ignore that it's not in any order but I have all of my Christmas stuff and these are kind of done like thematically within each season and winter and then I have all of my winter and Christmas scripts in here and fall stuff and Halloween stuff and then if I have any seasonal scripts I put that at the end of each section um, Valentine's Day which is literally just a page <laughs> spring, summer, and then birthday bits. I just hole punched. If it's a sheet like this that I can hole punch, I just hole punched it instead of transferring them over. Lots of birthday things, weddings. I, it should just be like a celebration thing, but I put 
birthday on there. Um, and then these are all of my emotion stickers. So kind of vaguely starting with like more positive emotions, moving into frustrated or annoyed to more like angry, sad, anxious, that, that sort of thing going on. It's not perfect, but I generally know where things are at this point. And those are all like my emotion stuff. And then these are random stickers from samplers and things like that. Cause now when I get samplers, I try to put them with, like take any stickers I'm gonna use off and put them with that section in my character sticker stuff. So these are all just random character bits and bobs since I don't have these like character stickers in here. But if I ever did, they'd probably go in the back of this one. So that is everything that is in there. And then this one real quick is all of my, this is like a real thick boy. Uh, these are all of my character and functional icon stickers that aren't foiled. These are a few sheets that I need to transfer over that I haven't done yet. They're pretty much all paper and milk Animal Crossing except for that sheet. These are workout icons that used to be in that accordion with my plan as I go kit scraps, like as I, you know, to pull out. Um, <clears throat> since I got rid of my old one, I stuck them in the pocket here. I haven't really used them. I don't know if I'm gonna transfer them over or not. These are ones that I haven't transferred over yet, but they're planners from Scrubble Prince Co. And then this is a backup sheet of cloud planner doodles from Paper Shire that I do have some transferred over, but I was like, I'll just wait till there's more empty space on that page. And then these were some like random travel stickers. I wasn't sure if I was gonna use them. Obviously I haven't traveled in a year, so you know. And then these are all coffee cup stickers and I didn't transfer these over because I just have so many of them and it's pretty easy to like, these are just coffee cups. So those are the only ones I didn't move over. Some of them because I'm like not sure. I wasn't sure if I was gonna keep them or you know, whatever. And then those in the front I just haven't yet. Um, so these are sort of in an order that makes sense to me. I'm not gonna go through all the sections. If you want a more detailed overview of this and how I did this project and how long it took me, you can go watch that other video. But vaguely in the front, I have all of my food stuff. So like different types of food, drink, um, meals, cooking, baking, and then date night. And cause that made sense. Like I'd go from like food, you know, eating like that kind of date night stuff. And then like love and cuddle and date stickers and then going into like sleep and tired and my one, all my onesie stickers. I have so many like onesie and pajama stickers, um, beauty hygiene workout and then medical stuff. So like everything from period to medical appointments to my lupus zombie stickers that I use to mark bad days. Um, and then these are kind of like my more relaxing hobby things. So puzzles, games, audiobooks, reading, planning, and then my desk and like desk and office kind of stickers and more planning stuff. So like happy mail, filming, editing, YouTube, computer, gaming, like this is going into tech stuff, Animal Crossing, Pokemon, Mario, because I use these to mark playing video games more so I, I put these in here and my other character stickers I didn't because I use these to mark functional things in a variety of spreads whereas my Disney stickers for the most part I'll pull out to match a Disney themed spread or to use in a generic Disney week if that makes sense. I, it makes sense to me and how I use this stuff so these are all kind of like, you know, TV, all tech, electronic, digital stuff. And then home repair and lots of cleaning stickers and laundry stickers. And whenever there was a planner Kate sheet, I just hole punched it instead of transferring them all over. I did have to trim the tops off because they were taller than um, anything else. But just put those in here. Errands, all that kind of, you know, lovely stuff. Um, errands and shopping, bills, travel, and like car stuff. 
and then more social so phone friends family and then these are uh, like productive so these could kind of be emotions but a lot of times I use these to mark specific moods at work if I was in a really bad mood at work or if I had a really productive day at work and I want to note it in my planner so I put it here next to work stuff and then at the very back here I do have um, like a pandemic section with all of my like stay at home and mask stickers because you know this was a very special time in our uh collective history so that got its own little section in the back there but yeah that is how I store all of my stickers thank you guys so much for watching if you have any questions about anything that you saw in here where something was from um feel free to ask in the comments down below I do have an affiliate link to my Amazon ideas page that has everything I used for this project and I also will I also have a link to like Aura Estelle if you are interested in the A5 wide planners um but I will try to have like everything that I used if it's from Amazon linked in that like on the affiliate page and yeah a lot of the stuff is just random old things I've had from Target or wherever for years and I just keep repurposing the same stuff over and over and over again because it still works. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you in my next one. Bye guys.